Hello everyone, this is Alakazen. Welcome back to our playthrough of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. On the last episode, we fought Maja Vegeta's Goku for a while, uh, and then I found that I had no healing items, so I had to figure out how to get to Nam's village, which was not easy, because when you fly around this area, if you try and get over the mountains, it just teleports you back over here. But there's like a wind stream, like kind of over in that direction, I think it was. And I was able to get there by just kind of going through the wind stream. So that was pretty cool. As you can see, our boy Deborah here is uh, taking a dirt nap. So I bought a bunch of items and I decided to train a little bit off camera. Got some better super attacks because I was complaining about how the Masenko sucks. So now I have the Kamehameha, the guided Masenko, and... Uh, the Super Energy Blast Volley, or whatever the hell it is. Anyway, this shouldn't be that bad. Majin Buu, let's do it. It's now or never. What kind of crazy mechanics is this guy gonna have? I don't know if we can handle this guy. I'm just gonna see what he does first. Not gonna get too aggressive. Does he heal? Just passively? No. Doesn't seem to. Alright. Let's try this out. Not bad. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we got in the bag. Oh. Get out of this guy's combo here. The guy did Masenka. Alright, let's try doing it from a distance. Huh. That still kind of sucks. There's a bit slight curve to it, but, uh... Yeah. Man, he just zooms right in on you. Like a homing missile. Let's try this again. Uh, okay, I, I kind of see what it does, but... Uh, it still sucks. Not a fan. Let's bust this out again. We'll just stick to melee. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. Sure. It's a great chance to uh, showcase one of my new items. The Ultra Heal Aid. Look at that. Yeah. How do you like that, Majin Buu? You don't know anything about this. Much better than Vita Drink L. Vita Drink L has been dethroned. Never thought I'd see the day. I still have to grab those Sensu Beans from Corrin. I assume those are just like the best healing item in the game, right? A full heal. Man, this guy's a lot of HP. I am not doing much damage. I'm glad this is one of those fights where you don't just de-transform and make this a lot harder. In fact, uh, speaking of which, let's 
let's go ahead and try and get him to stagger a little bit here. Man, that was hard to make him stagger. Oh dear. Man, that, that's impossible to dodge. That, that just is impossible. Okay. Let's try to... No. Okay. No. There we go. This is what I was trying to get to. A little extra damage. Oh, no. This guy invincible or something? Got to break out another uh, heal aid here in a second. Oh boy. Man, he is just really fast. Alright. So buy the drinks. There you go. Oh no. There might be a way to dodge that, but I'm not seeing what it is. Because you don't fly fast enough to outrun it. Well, it would be cool if there was a way to, like, upgrade your flight speed. That would be neat. Pretty sure that's not a thing, though. It doesn't feel like we're any faster than we were from Episode 1. Let's just let him get out of the system here. Almost got him. Almost there. This is fun. But man, he is. He's a tanky son of a gun. But he hits hard. I'm, I'm like way over. I'm, I'm not over. I'm way under leveled as Gohan. Goku and Vegeta are like six or seven levels higher than he is. They're not working at all. Yeah, no kidding. Well, the next time we fight as Gohan, he's going to be a lot more impressive, I'm sure. Just a feeling. He's unbelievable. Nothing's hurting him. You lose me! You go bye-bye! That looks painful. Jeez. Imagine. Beats me. I don't know any of these guys. <laughs> oh, and Majin Buu, feel free to finish the Supreme Kai off. Woo, hungry. Woo, eat this guy. Oh, uh, De Deborah. You're still alive! Lord Bobbity, this creature 
Majin Buu is not like the others. He will not serve you as your loyal servant. He must be eliminated immediately. This is exactly what I was talking about a couple episodes ago. The Bora can think for himself outside of Bobbity's orders. He can openly rebel unless unless the whole control thing is just like when Bobbity really reins them in manually with his crystal ball or whatever. Very good, Martin Boo. <laughs> Hard to say. He probably just didn't care there because he knew that Deborah was expendable, but Piccolo, what's going on? Still, it just it never clicked with me. The spell's broken. What What are you two doing here? What about you guys? What are you doing here? Well, we were statues until just now. But it looks like that creep who spit on us died, and everyone's back to normal. Hmm? What is this unbelievable energy? No, no. It, it can't be. Is that Majin Buu? Majin Buu? Devour this fool as well. Okay, okay! Uh. Here we go. We're back to having fun. Vegeta was empowered by Babidi's spell and more determined than ever, remained locked in fierce combat with Goku. In the midst of the battle, the two Saiyans began to sense a massive energy that suddenly appeared in the distance. Realizing the energy must belong to Majin Buu, Goku pleaded with Vegeta to stop the fight so they could focus on defeating the new threat. Vegeta knew Goku would no longer be able to concentrate on their battle, so he agreed, or so it seemed. It was just a lie to make Goku lower his guard. With Goku distracted, Vegeta knocked him unconscious. He then made his way to Majin Buu's location, ready to fight the menace he helped bring back into existence. Majin Buu's free because of me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. That is, if I make it back alive. Vegeta's Super Saiyan 2 transformations now right. available. Time to All go right. meet this Majin Buu face to face. Well, we are several levels higher than Gohan was, so hopefully this won't be that bad. Uh, speaking of which, um, a moment. All right, we're back. I just had to take a quick look at, um, see what his super attacks were and all that. Haven't really played as Vegeta much. Already gone. Forgive me. This is my... You'd better give it your all. Hmm. All right. Sure, let's do this real quick. I just wanted to hear the dialogue there. One more for the road. You actually held your own against the mighty Vegeta. Nice. Okay. There we 
you go. <laughs> Easy prey. Oh. Can I just go talk to them? There we go. Nothing to say. Unless, uh... Oh, come on. I've, I've said it before, but these random battles are so irritating. I'm just trying to... Trying to explore, man. And they barely give any experience. It's just not worth it. It's mostly annoying. It serves no purpose but to annoy me. I mean, you do get, like, Z-Orbs or whatever, but like, I've got so many of those. I sat here for oh, about 10 minutes powering up Gohan, um, unlocking some new super attacks, and then powering up those super attacks. And it didn't even put a dent in my resources. Alright. I've had enough. Be on your way. Well, as I was saying. So can I interact with them at all? Uh, no. I mean, they look at me, but I can't talk to them. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, what kind of dialogue would there even be? I feel like I should probably go ahead and go ahead and call it here. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it here for now, but we will continue things on the next episode. If you guys are liking what you're seeing, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content just like this. This has been Alakazen. I hope you have a great rest of your day.